Good evening, my name is Mr Roberts, Head of School at Barmar, and I'd like to welcome you to the Year 7 Information Evening. This short presentation is aimed at giving parents and carers all relevant information as their child starts their seven year journey with us at Barmar. I have to say what a start it has been for Year 7. Attendance is high, uniform is outstanding and work rate is superb. Long may that continue. It's also been delightful to see so many young people involved in our extracurricular activities. Thank you very much for your support with this. Research shows that parental involvement through a child's education is critical if a child is going to achieve success. So we'd like you to be involved with us as a community and if you have any questions or queries please do not hesitate to ask. That's it for me and I'm going to hand over to Miss Hull, our Key Stage 3 Pastoral Lead, who will give you all the information on contact names and numbers along with all the relevant support details that you might need to help your child as they carry on with us at Barmore. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Hello, my name is Miss Hull and I'm the Key Stage 3 Pastoral Lead at Barmore School. Um, I'd just like to start by saying what a fantastic start the Year 7s have made. They've settled incredibly well and we're really proud of the start that they've had with us. Um, this evening I'm just going to talk through some of the pastoral points so you're aware as parents and what support we have available for your children as they move through the school. As you're aware, at Barnwell School we have three colleges, Ennis, Hoy and Redgrave. Each college has a head of college and then there is a team of staff who act as form tutors in each of those colleges. Just so you have an opportunity to put some faces to names, in charge of Ennis College we have Mrs Brown, in charge of Hoy College we have Mrs Jones and head of Redgrave College is Miss Cowlin. Every student at Barnwell is allocated a tutor group, which means they all have a form tutor that they see daily. We do ask that the first port of call for any parents is the form tutor, and there are a number of ways in which you are able to communicate with them. Hopefully, all form tutors have been in contact with parents so far this year to just introduce themselves. However, if you would like to make contact, you are able to find the email addresses on the school website. Alternatively, it's our first initial with a dot followed by our surname at barnwell.ha sch.uk. Um, we do tend to use email as our preferred method because while we're teaching um, and have our other commitments at school we can then get back to parents as soon as possible. However if you would like to speak to us directly you are more than welcome to contact the school office and a message will be passed on to us to make sure that we return your call at our earliest convenience. In addition to pride points, students also have the opportunity to earn college points while they are at school. So this may be for completing work to an exceptional standard in lessons, they may have helped another student or a member of staff, they may have contributed to the whole school community by picking up litter, or they may have um, taken part in some extracurricular clubs. Now exactly the same as how pride points work, these are added onto the system, students are then given positive points and students who receive a certain number of positive points throughout the school year will be invited on reward trips and there will be a variety of rewards for them available over the school year. As I explained in new intake evening, we are a therapeutic school with response to behaviour. So it's looking at students having learning consequences when behaviour does not meet our high expectations. Just so you're aware as parents, our behaviour system is a one-way system. So in lessons, if a student demonstrates behaviour that is disrupting the learning of other students, the first stage is for them to receive a reminder from the member of staff. Once they've received their reminder, their name will be written on the board and if the behaviour continues, that student will be issued with a concern, which then generates a detention the following night after school. Parents will be made aware of this in advance, so you have adequate time to make sure that appropriate arrangements are put in place for the collection of your child once they've finished their detention or whether they need to make their own way home. At Barnwell we have a layered approach to behaviour, so there are different consequences for a range of different things. If a student collects a standards or not school ready, that generates a 30 minute detention the following evening after school. A low level disruption is 45 minutes. A persistent low level disruption is one hour. We then do hold Friday extended detentions, which run from 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. We also have isolations, which can be held on both the middle and the upper campus, depending on the severity of the situation. And then our final resort, 
um, is exclusions. But hopefully the majority of students are able to collect all of the positives rather than moving through the protective consequences that we do have available to use. As you will be aware, students are spending more and more time on the internet. So there are a few things that you are able to do to help at home. We do find that sometimes situations escalate outside of school for the use of social media. So there are a number of things as parents that you are able to set up with regards to parental controls or even just upskilling yourselves on the social media sites that students are using at the moment. So on the screen at, at the present time is a website called Internet Matters. It's a really useful resource resource for parents and an opportunity for you to make sure that what students are doing on the computers and what they're doing while they're at home is appropriate for their age and like I said can give you a range of different tools in order to set up parental controls so you are able to monitor them effectively. These things would be really helpful for us as a school as it does become very difficult to not only manage um, social issues during school but also things that happen outside of school and on social media so your support with this would be really appreciated. Thank you very much for your time tonight. I'm hoping to meet a few of you over the coming weeks with the tours that are happening across the school, but it's been an absolute pleasure to work with your children over the last few weeks, and I really do hope they continue in the fantastic manner that they've started at Barnwell School. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thank you.